Right, I'm going to do a review of my lovely Major Craft Cross Stage Hard Rock Special CRX 802 MHS 8 foot lure weights 5 to 30 grams lines 0.8 to 2 PE so they're talking about braid there of that diameter uh, it's just starting to tip down but we're going to carry on with this review so if we start off with the bottom of the rod we got a got your EVA foam there with some nice uh, metal highlights you see the end there you got a little bit here so it's um, it's a split handle you've got a metal ring which my hands are cold and I've tightened up too far there metal ring locking ring and then you got your normal plastic ring the real seat sits sits in and then you got your foam again so it's a lovely beautiful handle actually I do really like the handle on it. it's very ergonomic I like the distance it is it comes to my to my elbow there I'm quite happy with that um, where's the balance point well we do have a plug on at the minute so um, it's not really going to work with that let's take undo the plug drop the plug on the floor put the rod down and now let's see where the balance point where the Shimano is uh, yeah, just in front of the foregrip of the reel which is about where you want it if I put it there it's just a little tip heavy with it there but this is a very light reel if I'm using my pen slammer which I do most of the time for morass fishing it's smack on there so sometimes a heavier reel balances a rod better. Um, very pleased with it, it's eight foot long. Um, your whippings are, are black with silver and gold highlights. So you can see the cross stage written here. A new startup ignition by Cross Force. Now I guess what they're talking about with the Cross Force is the cross wrap here. And that goes up to the first ring. Above that, you don't have it and you're you've got your spigot it's a decent spigot on it if you look at the spigot there you can see got plenty of room for wear and tear there the eyes are fuji k guides very nice there is one two three four five six seven eight now i thought i'd have preferred one more to be honest but i don't seem to be stuff suffering from it cutting the corner anywhere I'll show you that now. There we go. The braid's not cutting the corner there anywhere. It's quite a nice flow of it there. Um, and it bends. Uh, the action of it is, I would say, a medium fast action. Maybe, yeah, medium fast, I'd say. I mean, the abbreviation on here says medium heavy sport. So, yeah, I'd say it. it's got a lot of guts in the rod. Being 5 to 30 grams, it's got it's got a hell of a lot of guts in it more than that i would say if you're looking for a ras rod which is what i've got this for you want a little bit more of a through action because those fish just slam it and just get down but you want the the power down in the the bottom two thirds of the rod to lever them out and i'm fishing deep water marks i'm fishing at distance i'm having no trouble setting the hooks those big thick ewg hooks that we use a lot of the time for our ras fishing um sensitivity wise what's it like when i'm ras fishing because that's what i bought it for and a bit of bassing and a bit of pollocking you know with things like seekers and the suzuka which i've got on here now the tip is a little bit thicker than on the uh, savage gear finesse that i've been using all this time before this but it's more sensitive now i don't know whether that's the quality of the carbon i'm not sure what type of carbon they've used in this i will find out for you um but it's i i can tell the bites quicker with it it's definitely more sensitive than the finesse the finesse has a softer tip it's not the thinnest of tips the the tip on uh, the finesse is thinner than that but it is an eight foot three rod and not eight foot it's done everything i've asked of it i mean i'm i'm casting 30 gram lures on here now the seekers which is the upper end of it it's coping with them lovely i'm throwing five gram texas rigs in close you know it's you've got all the feel you need with that yeah and with this setup it's very nice and light but even with the heavier pen slammer it's balanced you don't notice that reels on there i don't anyway um 
a beautiful rod it was around about 180 pounds something like that i can't remember exactly give or take they are a little tricky to get out of at the moment i've found scuffed up a bit we're off i've had to lay it on the rocks as you do but then you know they're tools they're not something to just stare at they're here to use and i'm very very happy with it I, it's exactly what i would want from a uh, a rass rod any downside to it i wish they bring it out with little uh, a hook clip here i can get the plastic ones but they're not as good and they come off you lose the damn things you end up clipping your your lures into your eyes uh, they do them in uh, lighter versions they do them in longer and heavier versions for bass fishing um, they're not a budget rod but they're sort of a mid-price range rod and they're they're nice looking beautiful rods so far i've had this for a good month or two now i've landed quite a few wrasse on it yet to catch bass on it but we're trying now and i'm very happy to rod so it's not a lot more i can say about it really other than yeah good solid so far very dependable rod